Welcome to the Naval Tech Tinker. My name is Mikael Sjöman. I am building a 3D printed carbon fiber skinned um, electric outboard that is 25-ish horsepower in strength. And I want to make a special episode because I have an issue with the safety and it comes from the 3D printed parts that are going to be functional. It has to hold a lot of strength because a 25 horsepower motor, that's going to put a lot of I mean, force against the plastics I'm using. So let's dive into that and make a small special episode on the issue I have and how I'm planning to solve this. So for a few days I've been thinking about what to do about this. It's... Um, the problem is this is printed on ABS. And I've been printing it pretty fast. But there is one issue here and that is a crack here. So. The main issue is this. This is this is a beast. This is 25 or 26 horsepower. And yeah, that's a lot. A lot of power. And I'm not gonna run it that fast, but neither am I gonna go and sit in a boat, which is out of rubber, and have this suddenly jump off. So why is this happening? Well, you might say that ABS has a special issue when it comes to layer bonding. I mean, it kind of warps. So what happens is that for each layer you put on here, it kind of starts pulling in this direction because ABS, I mean, all plastics has some shrinkage in them and they start pulling upwards. Sometimes you can see it in the bottom layer that it doesn't stick. And you might think, hey, go to PLA instead. Why don't you do that? Well, this is PLA. I had a failed print here. But you can actually see the same thing here. It's actually loosened up, it's jumped up off the bed. So this is just PLA plus, nothing special. And I did not expect this, but all, all plastics has this issue. So back to this one, what am I gonna do? Because I need the layer lines in this direction to hold the strength for, I mean, both the compression and the tensile strength pulling outwards. Uh, if that's the proper English word, I remember. But anyways, I have compression pulling inwards and I'll probably have this one pushing outwards and putting stress here. And if this jumps off, that's not a great start of the day. That could lead to the propeller going suddenly straight into the boat. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not risking my life. I'm. I'm into, let's do this the right way. So the question is, how do we get it away? I don't think that normal 3D printing materials will actually succeed with this. Probably what we'll have to do is to use some other kind of printing material. If we don't skip the printing parts over or together. But, so the problem again was that for every layer that's put here, it's kind of put pressure to go inwards and it kind of builds up, so it builds up a lot of stress here. And when I, when I put a lot of stress here also in this direction, kind of pushing towards the layer lines, which this did, well, that suddenly makes it crack. So we need something that takes away the the tension to pull inwards. And there is ways to do that. I mean, I use carbon fiber nylon here quite a lot. I used it before for this part, but I just decided against it because nylon is hydroscopic and it becomes a bit soft when it's in water. I don't think that part would have mattered really, but overall this is black and this would have become gray and ABS does great here. So how can we stop this plastic from warping? Well, we could use nylon carbon fiber because what happens is that the carbon fiber strands kind of immobilizes the plastic to move and create this stress. But I think I want to stick with ABS. I actually would like to have ASA because that would be way more weather resistant, but I have had hell with ASA and ASA has a higher shrinking factor than ABS if I remember correctly because ASA yeah that's kind of an ABS version uh, it it just warps like crazy and 
Uh, I have seen tons of videos. Everybody has issues. Small parts, no problem. Big parts, they start warping like hell because of the shrinking factor. When it cools down, it wants to start shrinking. So I would love to stay with ABS because of the looks. But then I need to order that. And that is kind of expensive. It's not that expensive if you buy a little bit in bulk. I, I have a Chibi printer and Chibi has kind of a, you know, you get 25% off if you buy three rolls. And then each roll come down to about 31, 32 euros, I think. And that's not bad. Shipped from the EU straight back to my home. I think that would, would, that would be a great deal. But also I've engineered this differently now. I made it a second version and you can kind of see it in, let's see if we can get it. Sorry, let's put it down here. So you can see that I have built things to kind of go like this. So I can kind of thread something over to hold this in place. If for any reason this would fail, there's a second layer of protection, something kind of a mount that goes in here, locks this in place after I have bolted it. And if these bolts or ley lines start shifting or whatever, there will be a second layer of protection. We can use the layer, we can use the layer around like this, sorry, and kind of lock this in. So thread down and then lock it from the below. And then it can't move, even if it wanted to, even if it cracks. There is no way for the plastic to move upwards or downwards because everything is going to be locked in place by another thing around the whole thing. It's a little bit overkill, but I think it's worth it. So, back. What am I going to do with this? What I'll do is... I will put my little locking mechanism. Basically, think about something that goes like this and whoop, and kind of locks locks in here and or goes straight over all the way down here and then I lock it somehow so it cannot move even if it's cracked it cannot move there is no practical way for this plastic to move upwards or downwards and create spaces of air so it, we'll put this intention in this direction so I will have to have something that comes all the way down and then there's not a lot of space here, but something that I can actually screw from under so that something puts pressure from under and locks this mechanism into place. That way, even if I have a crack, I can actually go out and test this. I'm not gonna test this hard then. I'm gonna test this lightly. <laughs> uh, but I wanna come out and test this to see, you know, what are the kinks, what are the problems? Because with all product development like this is, I mean, this is a lot of things right now. I think, yeah, we, we need to test things. It's, we need to get out. Sooner or later, we need to get out and, and try it out. And I wanted to come out today, but I decided against it. It's a safety hazard. It needs to be addressed. I need to do something to make sure that I am not gonna sink. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna order ABS GF, three of those. I mean, even though it's more expensive, if you don't have this warping tendency, which kind of wants to make these layers want to first from the build plate jump up and then also for each layer that it tries to kind of it, it's, it's almost like a bow pulling the plastic inwards and sooner or later you get these cracks Especially with long prints like this. Although I mean it's in, in any other application. I pull these tight I mean, I mean real tight. This is m8 screws. They are they're hefty. They put a lot, a ton of pressure when I pull. So yeah, I think we're gonna even, I mean, this ABS is like 20 US dollars, so it's cheap. It's good for a lot of things, but not for this. I'll keep it for this. There's, I mean, there is no pressure like that here. The, the, there isn't, it isn't very tall either. So, I mean, you can kind of see it. It's here cracked. Of course it's because the pressure is there too, but I mean, I expect it to start happening somewhere here. When as, as more layers and layer come, they're gonna want to pull more and more up. So I'm gonna order ABS with 25% glass fiber inside. Uh, and that's not for strength. It's to create, to stop this problem with the, um, the layer what lines wanting to warp. And that's why I'm not using ASA either. I have a hell of a time in printing this in ASA. For me, maybe you are the guy who can do it me and a lot more 
guys that has way more experience than me to say the same thing. AASA has a shrinking factor which is high. It creates these problems, it wants to warp. I need to have something against it. I'm putting 25% glass fiber inside the plastic. It's super abrasive, but I had the nozzles for it. I can print it no problem with my machine. So yeah, putting tons and tons and tons and tons of small glass fiber. So of this part, you will have like this much glass. That's fiber inside. <laughs> and what that does is it immobilizes that warping. It, it just, when it when each layer dries out, it, it stops that kind of warping. And that creates a solid part that I think actually will hold up way better. So for functional printing that has stresses in this direction, that's where I'm gonna go. So that was everything from this special little layer adhesion problem episode of this 25 horsepower build of an outboard thank you for listening in give me some comments if you think it's the right idea or the wrong idea or yeah let me know what you think and if you like this channel like and subscribe it helps me out it helps spreading the videos i have so anyways cheers and have a good day